hop on and play a few games, try to have fun. Um, I played with a few of my friends. It was okay, but I, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Maybe when Black Ops 2 comes out, I'll have more videos out, but no one knows. Anyways, um, oh yeah, also don't mind my voice. I'm a little bit sick right now. I have a stuffy nose. I sound different. But yeah, fuck that. All right, let's get into this topic. So yeah, I remember one time in elementary school, we were playing this game called handball, right? It consisted of one ball. There was like a bouncy ball or a volleyball. We liked playing with the volleyball balls. All us, all us hardcore players used the volleyballs to play. <laughs> we'd we would always play at snack time. That's what we called it back then in elementary school. Anyways, so we were playing this game, and there was a bunch of different tricks you could do. There's like rainbow where the ball goes over you and you say it. And then you got like a limit where you can only do a few at a time. Like you could do one rainbow per game. And yeah, stuff like that. So, anyways, um, we were playing this group version of it where everybody's in and then there's an order. So each person gets one hit and then the next person and the next person. So we would hit the ball, it would hit the wall, and it would come back and the next person would hit, hit it. So when everyone else was out, me and this other kid were playing. I, I know his name. I'm just not gonna say it because I'm not a douchebag. Even though he's probably not gonna be watching this video, and none of you probably know him, but whatever. Um. So yeah, we were playing a game. We we're the last two, and then he hits the ball. It hits the wall, and then I hit mine too. And then there was the wall was pretty big, but he hit it, and then it went out to the side. And there was no boundaries. It could go anywhere it wanted to. And when I hit the ball, it hit the edge of the wall. So it just went, like, flying towards one of the classrooms. And it hit the sharp edge of the wall. So it just freaking bounced all over the place. And then uh, we, always ha we always say before we play, there's no boundaries. So that people aren't like, oh, it went outside the line. But, yeah. So I hit it against the side of the wall. And he said that it didn't count. So, here's where it gets exciting. So, he said, I'm out, and he wins. And then we were in third grade, so we were, like, freaking babies. Shit, I don't know what we were. We were just freaks. All right, anyways. So, he said it doesn't count, right? And then, I was in third grade, so this was, like, a huge thing. I called him a bitch, and he started crying, okay? And then... I would usually never cuss, like, my heart, f I felt so bad when I said that to him, because we were in third grade, we didn't, we barely even knew what these words meant or anything, let alone know them, so yeah, I, I call him a bitch and he starts crying, and then one of the yard duties comes and asks why, and he's like, he called me the B word, so yeah, I'm like, no I didn't, I said beach, I swear, and then, I, I was lying, of course I did say bitch, but, so, I go down the office, and I was crying, too, because I thought I was going to get in hella trouble. So, don't forget, we were in third grade, so this actually mattered. So, I go down to the principal's office, and she says, Do you promise you called him a, a beach, not B-word? Because B-word's very bad. And she gave me, like, this whole honesty speech, and, like, if I'm lying, then bad things are going to happen. She never called it karma because she probably knew I wouldn't know what it meant in third grade. So yeah, I promised and all that. And then we al we always had some beef after that. We were always mad at each other and stuff. And then me and him were like the best players out there. So we would always be the last two playing. And then, yeah, that's how it was. And we hate each other. To this day, we really don't give a shit. We're fucking third graders. Not anything big was happening. And yeah. And I just noticed we still have another five minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about another topic here. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to... <coughs> there was something in my throat. Sorry. Anyways. So yeah. I'm going to talk a bit about the gameplay and then I'll go into another topic. So yeah. This gameplay at the beginning was actually really slow. I don't know. It's still at the slow part. Sorry about that. Um, I should have fast forwarded it, but I just, I hate you guys. So I didn't. So fuck you. Anyways. Yeah, this gameplay is really slow because I was just trying to get to my pave low or whatever my other, my next kill streak was. So I was just like, come on. I really want to get this 
or I was going for Moab too, and then that guy freaking cornered me and knifed me, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just rush the rest of the game, I won't camp anymore, so yeah, here's where my gameplay gets a little bit more aggressive, I don't give a shit what happens, and then, yeah, so anyways, as I was saying, I was going to talk about another topic, this also took place in elementary school, I would always, okay, this was in first grade, right? So there was a game called tetherball. There's a toll. There's a pole, and then there's a volleyball attached to a string from the top of the pole. And then the object of the game was you hit the ball, and you're supposed to keep hitting it. And if the other person misses, it wraps around the pole, and you're supposed to keep hitting it faster and faster so that they keep missing, and for the ball to wrap all the way around the pole and for it to hit the pole. Once it's hit the pole, the game's over. Whoever made it go all the way around wins. So yeah. I would, in the mornings, we would always go early to school. We'd ask our parents to drive us early. And then we'd always go and play games on the playground and do whatever we wanted. So, yeah. I was with this kid. Um, not going to say his name again, of course. And we went there every morning and we would always play. And then every Monday, we would have to write a report on what we did during the weekend. And then... It was like, it was like three sentences long. I'm like... I had fun. I ate food or whatever. You just name three things. Like, I slept. You just write three freaking simple-ass sentences and you were done. We were in first grade, so yeah, actually, it's okay. I'm not complaining. And, yeah. So, I would always beat him. He had never won against me. But, somehow, he thought he'd always win. So, he was like... So, he would always write reports about how he'd always beat me in tetherball. And then the teacher asked him if it's okay with me. And then, uh, he says that he asked me every time he wants to write about it. So, and he never asked me. He was freaking lying, okay? He's a lying bastard. Anyways, so he wouldn't ask me to write it. And then the teacher would come and ask me. He's like, she's like, um, did he ask you if he's allowed to write this report about you losing in a game? And then... Um, I was like, yeah, he asked me, because I was a nice kid. I didn't want anyone to get in trouble or anything. I didn't want any of that shit happening. So I was okay with it the first week, right? And then it was just continuous. The whole school year, he would just write the same report on Monday um, when we'd have to write it. And then he'd always write about beating me, even though I would always win, okay? So that bitch was like, yeah, I, I beat him in tetherball this morning. And then... And we were supposed to write it about the weekend, which he didn't even do. But yeah, whatever. So, he would be like, I beat him this morning in tetherball. And then be like, no, dude, I won. Stop writing those reports. I would tell him at snack time. And then, he'd be like, no, I always beat you. So, we kind of hated each other back then, too. But we would always play just to be competitive. I'm still competitive to this game, but it's not like freaking baby talk like two-year-olds do it. But yeah, he would always write those reports, and it really started getting to my last nerve. So, uh, I told the teacher that he never had permission. And then, she benched him, and I was really happy. Benching, we called, the teachers called it benching. It's when you have a kid sit out during snack time. Like, he would sit against a wall, and yeah, I would always get benched. And then, my sister would always come and ask me. She'd like, hey, why are you benched? And, like, I didn't want to tell her because she'd tell my mom. And then she's like, tell me, I'm going to tell mom. So I would always have to tell her. So I cried about that, too. Anyways, guys, this gameplay is over. I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Uh, tell me if you guys want more stories from elementary school. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace out.